November 13. So we're going to do our very first drawing, some prizes, a t-shirt. It's going to be fun. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, description box will have the details. You have Temple of Truth in between you and your person of interest. This is a throat chakra card. So this is about speaking. It's also about communication. And Libra, this is your forte. The Temple of Truth and speaking is sort of your thing. It's your biggest deal. Communication is huge with Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. It says the throat chakra is activated, your authentic self, and self-expression. So the coming days, you could feel a burst of really good energy, especially coming from that throat chakra. You could be speaking more and you could be telling it like it is. In yesterday's video, it was about being frank and firm. So this applies today to your new love story. Very exciting energy. We're gonna keep the momentum going. I'm gonna get romance angels. Give me a second here. We're gonna do a mild shuffling from previous reads. We have what messages on the split? We have attraction and we also have reconciliation. Some of you are going back to an old person that's very inviting to you. So this new love could actually be the old person. There's a possibility here for that type of energy. Could be an old person returning back into your life, Libra. Some of you could have already heard from them. And I get here 1111. Some of you could be seeing 1111. And I look down, that's crazy the magician card right there in front of me. So I do think that some of you are actually seeing 1111. I just noticed that. I looked down and saw the magician card. Alrighty. So for the new love today, we have make the effort. Beautiful card of two children hugging. So this could have a childlike essence to it. Some of you could also feel childlike when you're around them. They have this essence to bring out the best in you and also the childlike in you. It reads, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Again, divine intervention. Some of you are actually getting to know this person at this time and it's very new. Children also resemble the beginnings of, okay? And I'm gonna get one more for you from the Romance Angels. Also, it could feel rather warm whenever both of you get together super familiar energy, very loving. Um, I feel like a lot of you will laugh with this new person or you already are. So there's energy here for childlike, beautiful, kind of a, I see balloons and a lot of teddy bears. So this could be a very warm love for all of you. Next card, your next message is healing family issues. This person has the potential to help you heal through traumas that were given through family lineage through the ancestral bonds that you've gone through, they could help you see something Libra here, especially if you're utilizing your third eye. This person could come in and sort of peel away layers with you that you haven't discovered in, in some time and you've been sort of afraid to go there. So healing family issues, it reads your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So there's something here about maybe their maturity too. Their maturity could be offering something for you. And since this is a new love read and we're discovering this person's maybe appetite to withstand the beautiful Libra and maybe take in all this Empress energy, they could be giving you a gift too of healing your past wounds, which is, that's very beautiful energy. I've never seen that in a new love read. All right, now we're going to the tarot. So stay tuned if you wanna know a little bit more here. I'm gonna kind of give myself more space, Libra. The other days, this whole table was filled with cards. It was a bit naughty. <laughs> All right, Libra. For the new love, show me intentions. Show me also their smarts, what they intend to do with the Libra. And give me a bit of the story here as well, Spirit. For Libra, sun, moon, rising. Thank you, Spirit. We have Eight of Pentacles on the ground. It can mean that both of you are working together at this current time. Some of you, if this is a new person, they're working really hard to keep you entertained. I'm really getting that energy. Um, keep you enthralled with them. We have the Eight of Swords reversed. We have the Four of Pentacles. Like I said, keep you around to keep you entertained. They're already holding on to what things could be. This person could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and they have the Two of Pentacles. I feel like this person right now is trying to balance work and this new person is trying to also balance you, Libra, in their life. 
if you're watching for someone who's been around for a while, this is still the current energy with them. I feel like with the Two of Pentacles, there's something here about having a struggle with the work and the romance. Uh, some of you could find that they're extra stressed out when they try to get a hold of you or be with you. It's because it means a lot to this person. So there's something here about holding on to you, Two of Pentacles, and trying to balance the situation out. Some of you can find in the coming days, they even tell you this. They're very vocal about their energy um, and very serious about you. So this is really cool. I want to keep going. We have the three of wands reversed. That's that holding on energy that's not happening. Can't explore a little bit more with you. I feel like time is not on their hands at this uh, current phase with them. Also Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and we have nine of cups, beautiful energy. They're very happy and content with you right now, Libra. Um, they see sort of a wonder in your eyes, maybe a dreaminess to even knowing you. So very, very proud energy. There's a little bit of pride coming through. The Ace of Cups, they still feel like it's new. This is new beginnings in love, and they're still in the honeymoon phase with you. This is also water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So there's definite room here to make new memories with you. Their old person, you might be hearing less and less of as you speak to them, and you are now becoming the hottest news in town to this person. Um, also, they could be really telling you feelings here that are super strong in terms of your personality, your beauty. Uh, they could be complimenting you a lot, Libra. So a lot of water energy with this Ace of Cups. Very impressive coming from this new person as well. You could also be learning things from them and they're kind of walking with you in your awakening. So you could have taught them a, a thing or two as well, Libra. 711 on the clock. That was very beautiful as I glanced at the camera today. 711 could mean something for you and your person. A little bit more here for Libra. Please and thank you. I hear bottom of the deck and I'm going to go ahead and do so. We have the Nine of Swords the Gemini card of the lovers, and the Eight of Cups. Four of Swords at the bottom. We have a lot of Swords energy. I believe this is coming from you. We have a bit of anxiety. Some of you could have sleepless nights currently, um, maybe thinking about an old person, maybe how it impacted you, Libra. I feel like the old heartbreak creeps up at night. I feel like you think of somebody in the past quite a bit. It's showing up with a little bit of this red energy, which means that you might still have passion in that area, maybe to even contact the old person. Um, but I don't feel it's for romance. I feel like it's almost to speak your mind. Um, maybe sometimes you wonder about the old person too, Libra, a little bit. Um, I do see the Eight of Cups here, which is walking away from things that no longer serve you. So this new person could have really helped you see that walking away from very, very toxic uh, episodes of your life. And the Eight of Cups is quite lucky because it has the emblem. If you look very close, this looks like infinity a little bit, especially if I turn it down. Um, you walked away and I feel like your new person's helping you walk away. If that makes sense for anyone today, please give me a thumbs up because I feel like the Eight of Cups is showing up differently artwork wise and it's also telling me something different about your personality. Um, I feel like this walking away happened some time ago for you new love watchers today and this new person is giving you that sort of energy burst to kind of see where this road could go with them. Uh, very inspirational. They're coming in as a healer themselves. They could have healed you in some way. Give me more on the lovers. Clarify the, uh, the lovers in the Eight of Cups. New love scenario for Libra. Today was very serious. Today's a serious reading. And I wonder why you have it like this. Thank you, Spirit. We have, there you go, Scorpionic energy to transform you. So there's a capability here. And Libra, you could see peaks of this too in your personality. This person is bringing out that transformational Scorpio energy. We keep seeing this in our readings as well. So all of this red is telling me something. If you look close at the Four of Swords, the heart is red, her shirt is red, this cloak is all red. This is about having passion for your new beginning with the new love person. And I feel like they're truly healing you and helping you feel this out. Um, has something maybe to do with your oracle card too about the throat chakra, helping you talk about it. Um, also helping you 
get over it in a way where you can hear the story finally, Libra, okay? Message for the new love person. They could come in as Scorpio, Gemini, another air sign like you, Libra, Aquarius, um, I already said Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and you also have water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, especially with that good feeling that you're having towards this new person, Nine of Cups. Alrighty, that's the message for the new love. I will have an expanded old love story. So if you're interested in that, go to video two in the video bar. Love you much, and I hope you have a sprinkly, sparkly day.